Cool. What's going on guys? It's Brody Kern, founder of Wake Up Wealthy, and I'm sitting here with one of our very early clients, Aaron Platt. Aaron is a guy who came through our program a little over a year ago and he's experienced an amazing bit of growth personally and professionally. And I really wanted to sit down with him today uh, here in his hometown, Tampa, Florida. We're here to visit him. And I wanted to go through some of the experiences that he's had, where he was beforehand, before he came into the program, and you know what his life looks like now. Aaron, how are you today? I'm doing well. Dude, Glad I'm you guys are here. I'm excited to uh, I'm excited to shoot this with you. Yeah, it's, me too. It, it's been it's been a long road, man. Yeah, no. When you asked me, I was I was starting to think back more on things, and I know we talked about this too, but it's just bringing a whole bunch of stuff to light. Where I'm like, wow. Yeah, so yeah, I'm excited yeah. to dive into it. And so, you know, I really want to start at where we were when we met, you know, you know, kind of explain to us what was going on in your life, the types of things that you were feeling at that time. What were you struggling with? So I had just dropped out of school to start a marketing agency. Um, and at the time I was completely isolated. So I did what a lot of people did is I got out of school and then I started trying to build a business, which obviously isolates you from everybody else that you've previously known or grown up with or done anything along those lines. So I really didn't understand what networking was. I was starting a business, but I was a solo entrepreneur. Um, I hired a bunch of my friends and you clearly know how that goes and I'm sure we'll get into it. But the biggest thing for me was I cut off pretty much everything I knew to step into this entrepreneurship world and I didn't have any support from my family, friends, my partners at the time were friends. So I was just in this big brand new world and I didn't quite understand it at all. Um, so I lacked guidance, I lacked accountability, mentorship, um, and, and a group to kind of give myself a new backbone uh, into kind of diving into this stuff. Right, and I think, you know, there's something to talk about there that really I'm sure everyone who's watching this or who has started an entrepreneurship feels. You know, a lot of us were college dropouts and, you yeah. know, all of our old friends went on to graduate, get jobs, you know, start to climb the corporate ladder. But when you when you enter this world, it is isolating. It is, um, you know, it's, it's lonely. I mean, at Wake Up Wealthy, you've heard us say that an entrepreneur alone is an entrepreneur at risk. Right. And talk to me about some of the things and thoughts that you were really feeling at that time, because there's struggles that go on early in business. Like, where are you doing well? Um, and, you know, where, where was your health at? Where was your mindset at? Like, what was truly going on with Aaron at that moment? Yeah, so, so I jumped out of school, um, I moved back to Orlando. I had a couple uh, basically lucky opportunities that came to me, um, which kind of threw me straight into the entrepreneurial space and business owner space. And at the time, um, it was the first time where I actually started making money. So I was making a little bit of money. Um, I wasn't really doing the proper things I should have been doing with it. Um, and I was kind of covering up all of the isolation, like depression, anxiety side of things with working on my business. Okay. So I was pretending that, you know, 20 hour work days were okay. And I was doing that for like a year plus, year plus, two years maybe. Um, and yeah, I mean, at the time, like everywhere else in my life was lacking minus what I thought was cool, which was the hustle. But I was down, I was probably about 155 pounds. Right now I'm 180, which is, yeah, I mean, to, it's just to picture, disgusting. To picture you, yeah. you know, 25 pounds lighter is just insane. I remember what you looked like. I mean, do you look like a fucking corpse? Yeah, I know, it was scary. So yeah, I mean, my health was bad, I wasn't eating. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's just so much stuff that comes early on when you get into this entrepreneurship space and you actually start making money and you actually have a legitimate business. Um, and a lot of times it takes people years and years and years to kind of like pull back and look at all the areas that are just completely falling off. Um, so yeah, I mean, my, my head was ridiculous. You know, I couldn't go throughout a day without, you know, losing my shit pretty much. Um, I did not have quality relationships with anybody, family, friends. I mean, I was with a girl at the long term for at that point, um, we broke up. Um, and overall, I just didn't have any structure in my life other than what I was trying to do with my business. Yeah. And all of that ultimately put a huge ceiling on my business and what I could actually do. So at the time I was probably making, I don't know, five to $10,000 a month. Um, the business was maybe doing 10 to 15. Um, and yeah, but that was the hardest money that I had to work for. Like I was working 20 hours a day, Monday to Monday, like not healthy unable to sleep, like it was just really bad. Um, and there was a lot of things that piled up. And 
you know, not jumping into this too early, but when I found the group, and I'll get into how I found the group, but when I found the group, I realized like, okay, all of these guys go through this. All of these people have been through this and have found solutions, and there's a process to getting out of that. And so, you know, let's talk about some of the, the patterns of behavior that you had at that time. So, you know, we've covered that you were working 20 hours a day, yeah. You weren't sleeping, you weren't eating, you weren't taking care of your mindset, you didn't have healthy relationships. Yeah. You know, and obviously internally this was creating a problem. This was building up stress and you said that you were covering it up. What were you really doing to cope with the emotions at that point? Like what kind of thoughts were you having when things did build up and ultimately tipped over? Damn. Yeah, so um I mean here's the thing, like I was almost becoming like so good at covering it up with my business that I just let it go. Like I would, these things would pile up, they'd pile up, they'd pile up, and they'd pile up in multiple different areas. And maybe I would notice for a couple seconds or a couple minutes or maybe that day or whatever, but I would immediately almost prioritize everything else under my business. So basically I would just let that stuff go. And, and so, you know, I want to ask like, how do you think that the lack of attention to those areas was manifesting itself in your life and business? Oh, I would, I would, I mean, overall, it, like, it would build up to the point where I would be short with people. I would be so much so in my head that even if I was with friends, I wouldn't be able to talk to them. Um, and then, yeah, just the health side of things. Like, you cannot operate doing that. You just can't. Like, it. that's literally what eventually will break you completely. Yeah. Um, and How far away do you think you were from that point? Oh, from self-destructing? Probably about like six months. Yeah. And probably the self-destructing mean like losing the business, losing all friendships, like, and just being at a very rock bottom point. So, yeah, I mean. Did you know at the time that you were heading down that path? Or did you think that you were, you were really doing? Oh, I thought I was killing it. Right. I thought I was killing it. And so it wasn't until later that you had that realization of yeah. you know, how much pain was going on. Yeah. No, I, I mean, I, like I said, I was so good at covering it up that like almost completely and totally I was convinced that I was just crushing it. Yeah. And I was 19. Yeah. So like, yeah, that's I, 19 is when I started, worked for about a year, two years. I met you um, when I was 22 or just turned 22. I might have been 21 at the time. Um, but no, I literally thought I was doing awesome. And I think that that's a pattern that we see a lot throughout young entrepreneurs. And it's because if we, you know, and we all are under the illusion that if we're hustling, if we're making a little bit of money, then we're kicking ass, right? Yeah. And this is something that we see with a lot of guys coming in and a lot of prospects that we talk to. And it's like being on the other side of it, outside looking in objectively, like I know that someone has pain. Yeah. And the challenging piece is that when you're that young, and you have ego and you're like and you're making which i had money, right yeah. and you're yeah. like fuck yeah like i'm really killing this but you don't see almost like the way i was in my addiction right i'm like i'm fucking good Do yeah. you know what i mean but you, yeah. you don't you don't see what's truly going on and you don't see what's being projected to the world in the internal state that you have and so it's amazing to see you have that you know retroactively looking at it have that clarity and watch all the all the growth that you've had so let's kind of let's start to move into how you found the group yeah so at the time, I was running the marketing agency, uh, spending a lot of money on like events, different networking mixers, whatever. I went out to Miami, um, ended up running into Justin Cavallaro. Um, he was talking to me about his business. I was talking to him about mine, and just so happened that you know what he wanted to do was something that I really wanted to do, and he brought the idea up, and I was like, yeah, let's do it. So we came together. Um, and we started working on more of a passion business something that could give us a little more fulfillment, um, make us a little happier. Uh, I think we both realized at that time, and it wasn't together that we realized this, but we needed to change something. Mm -hmm. um, and I was, we were sitting in the office pretty much late, like, I don't know, we, we were there for a week or two. Um, and one of the Sunday calls came, I think it was Sunday or it may have been Thursday. Mm -hmm. um, but I was sitting in his office and I was listening to like, 20 guys just go back and forth on business and like health and structure and accountability. At the time, I didn't even know that was real. You know what I mean? I didn't even know that was out there. So yeah, I think right then and there, I was like, this is something I want to do. I don't know what it is. And that's when I reached out to you. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the time, you know, 
if you came to me, I probably would have covered it up and like, I don't need this, I don't need this, I don't need this. Um, but just listening to the call for 30 minutes was like, I was like, all right, yeah, this is gonna change a lot of the things that I can help, I can do, right? Um, and that was also at the time when I started, my mindset and everything started maturing a little bit. Um, my goals started changing and I quickly realized like, all right, I gotta, I gotta change something, right? Um, and yeah, I mean, going back to the ego thing, like when I was getting going and when I was getting started, if I had done something like this then, I would have been 10 steps ahead of where I'm at now, right. but I didn't let myself do it. Yeah, you had to go through that. Right, exactly. And I was kind of in the point where I was just like, no way, I don't need anything. Like, I'm steering this ship, I'm doing everything. You know what I mean? I thought the hustle was cool, going back to that. Like, so yeah, yeah you know, I was listening to the call. Um, I realized the value of what that could do and I was stressed out at the time. And like just listening to the call pulled stress from me. And I was like, all right, I need to be a part of that. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. In, in the group coaching environment and bringing, being around guys who are struggling the same shit, like one thing that I've been saying a lot lately is pain divided is pain shared. And that's what you were experiencing in that moment. And it's one of the things that makes Wake Up Wealthy such a powerful experience. Um, you know, the next thing that I wanna talk about is, is some of the stuff that you were really once we started to uncover this, once we started to peel the layers back of you covering it up with the business, some of the things that you were struggling with, we obviously talked about some of the personal things that we held you accountable to, like actually getting sleep yeah. and working out and taking care of your spirituality and meditating, right? But let's yeah. talk about, let's also talk about within your business, right? Like one of the things that you were really, really struggling with was time management. Yeah. Because, you know, you, like many of us, were under the you know, the illusion that busy is productive. Right, no, and let's just get this straight too, is when I say I was running a marketing agency, I was directing music videos, I was managing artists, I was doing photography, we were doing video, I mean, we were doing everything. We we're also doing custom packages, we we're on retainers, we we're building websites. So I just thought I had, you know, I could go to anybody, create a custom solution for them and go and do it. And that ultimately built up to where I'd wake up and I was doing 50 different things. So that over a long period of time, it was just- It's just not sustainable. No, right? it was death. <laughs> like literally it was, it was horrible. Um, so yeah, I mean, when, I mean, I guess fast forward to when we joined, when I got into the group, um, you know, we had our call. Um, you kind of probed a lot of areas that I didn't necessarily want you to go. Um, so it was cool to get that pulled out by somebody else and then from somebody who has business experience and then also with the, you know, what you've gone through, um, you're able to just lay a different type of foundation, which took time to get used to, obviously. Um, my body and everything I was doing was completely against it, but um, at the grand scheme of things, I knew that if I didn't take care of these things, I would never operate at the level that I wanted to and at, you know, the level that a lot of the guys in the group were. So, and, and that's when I started connecting with a lot of the guys um, from a purely business standpoint, I had more opportunity just because I was connected to other people. Um, Early on, what were some of the, uh, the biggest aha moments that you had from being on the calls and going through content? So first of all, like, if you're a business owner, entrepreneur, and you don't have a substantial network, you're gonna lose. I don't care who you are. Like, you'd have the best idea in the world, and if you don't have those connection points to make those things happen, or people to fire off ideas from and get insight from, it's just not, it's not gonna play out for you the way you want it to. So I think networking was a huge, huge aspect that I kind of started dipping my toes into, but not at like an intimate, like very ground level where I could go in and just talk to anybody about the real problems I was going through and trust the sources that they were coming from. Um, so I really learned one, how to network, two, how to create relationships again with people that actually wanted to create relationships with because I knew what they were doing and they were in this group and they were validated to a certain extent, you know what I mean? Um, and then the, the second thing was just know who you're taking information from. Like when I was getting in to the entrepreneurial space, business, I mean, overall there's so many people throwing bullshit at you. Um, and when people over promise results and just come at you and right away are just throwing shit at your face, I mean, it, it's like, there's so much of that, that it's very hard to get into the space without getting burned right away. Um, so I was scared about that, but at the same time, you know, Justin was in there. I had talked and started creating relationships with other guys that were in there. Um, 
they all said the same thing. They're Which like, you need this. Yeah, like literally. Um, and yeah, I mean. And, and what, what did I promise you at that time? You know, what did I tell you that was going to happen whenever you went through the program? So we talked a lot about what I was doing day to day. We talked a lot about, um, you know, taking a step back from the business and looking at the areas that I needed to look at that needed transformation. Um, and really you just kind of, we talked, I mean, we talked a lot, like between two calls before I signed up and also the call when I joined, um, really it was, it was the networking opportunity. It was getting the foundational mindset to actually progress further than where I was at and just get me to the next level really, which, which in business was, it was really in my life that needed to change, which was going to build my business. And he pointed that out to me. And that was more or less the promise you made to me was like, let's change your life, your mindset, your health, which will ultimately transition over to your business. And I think that that's one thing that young entrepreneurs really struggle with grasping is that your business is an extension of your mind, body, and spirit. Yeah. And because it doesn't, it's counterintuitive when you look at it from the outside view, but until you get into it and you start to really understand what happens, that's not until you see the results. And you know, in your time with us, you know, if I had to grade clients on a scale from one to 10, I mean, you were a 10 with us the entire time. You were incredibly coachable as soon as we came in and maybe it was the warm factor and seeing guys in there, but you let go. You let go of your resistance. You let go of these things. And you said, you know what? Like, I'm going to go all in for 90 days. I'm going to just truly do what you guys tell me to do. And it's something that um, the guys who do that are tens that come through from coachability perspective. Those are the guys who get, get the results that you have and everybody experiences different points of resistance and we have to dig them out of it and peel back more layers. But you were, and why I've been so excited to come down here and shoot this work with you guys is because you were so coachable. And when you do that and when someone opens up to that and they trust the process, it creates, you know, amazing results. Yeah. And so I want to talk a little bit about where you're at now. I want to talk a little bit about Social X. I want to talk a little bit about, yeah, let's do you it. know, Justin briefly, Justin Caballero, your business partner, who we're also going to be shooting a case study with later, one of my first clients. But I want to talk about how Social X came about because, you know, it, it, it's, it's amazing for me to come down here. It, it warms my heart because uh, this started as a fucking shot in the dark for me. You know what yeah. I mean? I dropped yeah. everything that I was doing to find some sort of meaningful work and to come down here, see your guys' beautiful office, and see three of my you know clients who I would grade as tens, some of the, the guys I've enjoyed working with the most, be in a partnership here, building amazing business, creating tons of impact with entrepreneurs. Uh, it's something that's truly special and emotional for me. Yeah. And so, you know, tell me a little bit about what's going on now. Like where, you know, where are we at? What's yeah. good? What are you guys doing? Yeah, for sure. So, I mean, first, I guess, let's go back to where I was 12 months ago. Just touch on that real quick and then we'll come to today. So before I started, no morning routine, no meditation, no clear headspace, um, very unhealthy uh, today full morning routine that I don't miss for anything at all. Um, I'm waking up at 6 a.m. every day, work out every day. Um, I, I meditate every day. Um, I'm tracking everything. Um, and as you can see, we, we freaking revamped what she threw at us, yeah. which is really cool. But, but yeah, I mean, I, you know, everything in my life right now is tracked and it's being optimized. Um, it all started with the foundation that you guys gave me 12 months ago. Um, Fast forward to today, I, you know, I, like I said, the reason I got into this group was because of Justin. Um, we started a business that will do seven figures this year. Um, and yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's been crazy what I can accomplish now where I feel healthy and I have ways to combat like anxiety. I mean, it, nothing's, you know, it's all there still, right? But um, there's ways to combat it, have people to go to, you know what I mean? I'm still a part of the group to the day. So, you know, I still lean on you guys. You know what I mean? And I probably always will. You know what I mean? Um, but it's gotten to a point where like, now we're just, we're able to move a lot faster, right? Like we're all on this personal development, like mission, right? We realize, and it's something that we took from the foundation that you laid and now have completely implemented across the board in our business. We have personal development plans for every single team member, even our VAs every single one. We're giving them books, we're incentivizing them to take courses, like everything. We're incentivizing them to track the water they drink, like our VAs. So it's something that we've taken 
built into whatever we needed to build it into for each one of ourselves and then now lay a foundation in not only our own lives but our business um, and yeah I mean the the conception of, uh, of social X happened when Justin shot me a DM he was like hey I've got this idea I want to put people together like I want to create opportunity um, you know this is what I love doing and at the time I had thought about something similar and I was like dude yeah I'm like I love the idea you know Let's and, do it. And I'm going to dig in this where Ju um, with Justin when we do his case study. But, you know, in case yeah. this is the only one that someone watches, yeah. where did Justin, you know, what what inspired Justin? It was the five wishes that? worksheet, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the five wishes worksheet is something where basically you reverse engineer your death, right? Yeah. And what you want people to, to remember you for. Um, and Justin at the time was struggling with a whole bunch of different stuff. And I'm sure, you know, you guys should definitely watch that case study. But basically, the idea he came to me with was born from Wake Up Wealthy and from the worksheet that you guys gave him and from some of the stuff that you guys helped him dig out, right? Um, and yeah, he came to, my, came to me with the idea. We got together, we put our heads together and just started going at it. Um, and it's been about a, you know, 13 months since we launched. We worked on a little bit prior to that. Um, to, to the date, I mean, it's, I can't even like, I don't know how to put it all together. Um, but the, the, really the, the biggest thing that allowed me to take that project on and actually do what we'd be able to do with it, same with Justin, I feel, Jordan, all the guys that we have you know, within our team now, if you're not healthy, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. You could have, 20 studs around you and if you're the one leading and you're just not healthy and you're not there it just I said this earlier like I don't want to beat a dead horse but like you can't build a business or be successful without health and mindset and clarity um, and ways to combat like your demons like everybody's got them everybody's got them, everybody's got them. and that's the thing and I you know I personally and I'm sure you can relate to this I used to judge myself a ton for all oh, yeah. of that and to step into the brotherhood and you know because i built this thing there's a group of guys that i want to be around and i want to build next to and to be able to step into that and see other people struggling with it and understand that you're not alone that you're human and that you know the things that you think are a big deal just aren't that big of a deal right right just let it go it's been incredibly powerful and i know you know we're, we're pushing on time here and you got to get on with kick it ass with your day but uh you know going back to that five wishes worksheet you know when i when i would aggregate content and drop it on the guys trying to figure out what created results what created you know aha moments for guys yeah it's such a just seeing you guys every time i see it it's such a reminder for me that the work matters because you know watching you guys who are going to go on to do bigger and better things than i could ever dream of any of us doing you know right now social x is on a mission to empower one million entrepreneurs in the next 10 years yeah and uh it, it keeps me going and it keeps me pushing and it keeps me, you know, really moving forward when shit gets tough in it because this work does matter. And, you know, the idea behind if you help one man who helps another man who helps another man, right? And the compound effect there nice. makes the work that both of us are doing incredibly worth it. Yeah, absolutely. And so, Completely you know, in, in, in closing here, is there anything else that you would like someone who is watching our content, has heard about the brotherhood, uh, or is struggling in their life or business, you know, what else would you tell to them? I think the biggest thing, I mean, I think there's a couple questions you have to ask yourself. And one is, where are you at now? Where do you want to be? And then what, air, like you really need to step back and like look at what areas you're lacking. If, if you're overweight, take that into account. If you're, you can't think straight because you have anxiety, take that into account. And I think one of the biggest things and one of the main reasons why I think this group was so successful for me was you guys aren't coming at me from like a guru standpoint. You guys are coming at me from your own experiences and then everybody else in the brotherhood is doing the same. So there's so much that comes to the table in this group that really if you come in here even not knowing what you really need it for but you need a new network you need new guys to be around you need new motivation um, new foundational uh, you know routines stuff along those lines I mean you just got to jump in and do it like it, it comes down to like it's an investment right but 
if you're investing in yourself, I mean, look how it played out for me, right? Totally. I was in my bedroom running a team of my friends who was overpaying and weren't doing quality work for me. I was doing 30, 40 different things. Um, you know, we'll, they already know where I was at. Yeah. Um, we're sitting in my office here. I've got a team of 13 people. Um, got great partnerships. I've got plenty of business opportunity. Yeah, and, all, and you know, three of the four executive team members are from Wake Up Wealthy. Yeah. Have all come through our program. Yep, all, and it, it says something, right? Totally. All of our values are aligned, all of our principles are aligned. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I kind of got a little sidetracked there, but I think like the biggest thing for me was like, I needed new principles and I needed new foundation. And that's what this has given me. Um, with that, I was able to take other things from the group. So once I got the foundation, once I got a little bit of a reset button hit, then I was able to go into the collaborations with the brothers. Then I was able to go, you know, collaborate with you guys. Then I was able to really bring my expertise to the table and make a lot of money, have a lot of fun and work with a lot of really great people. So I think overall, like if you're on the fence of this or if you think this is something you need, even if you think it's worth investment, it's worth it. I mean, I, you know, I, like I, we try and help entrepreneurs all the time and they're always on the fence about everything. If you're playing constantly on the fence of everything you do, you're never gonna change. You're never gonna get from the position you're at now to where you wanna be. I mean, me making that investment and doing all those things was extremely uncomfortable. It was, it was terrifying. That's why it mattered. Right. But that's also why I think it was the most transitional period of my life. Like this tw last 12 months, like if you asked me 12 months ago, We'll be sitting here, right? No way, no way, no way, no wow, way, no way. No way, no way, no way. So yeah, I mean, I guess to end this, like take a step back, look at the areas that are, are, are lacking for you. Um, and, and you know, if you're a male entrepreneur and you see areas that we just mentioned, you're gonna be able to come into this group, get leaders and other brothers that have been in those same situations and they'll show you the rope of basically what they did to get out of it. Once you're through it, once you're on the right track, then there's more opportunity that comes from this. And that's where the transactional, that's where the, you know, that's where you start making money and opportunities and also just have great guys to be around for the rest of your life. You know what I mean? Like we're here doing business this whole weekend. Yeah. You know what I mean? All, I mean, 90% of the guys that are in the group, I talk to every single day, you know what I mean? And we help each other. So, I mean, overall, if you want a big transition, this is, this is the way to do it. And, Dude, I, and I believe that full heartedly. Yeah, yeah. And I, I mean, I can't tell you how appreciative I, appreciative I am of you, everything that you've done within our program, everything that you've done for our business. Um, thanks for taking the time today to go through this, dude. I fucking yeah. love you. It's an honor. Yes, absolutely. I'm excited.